off, there's goes to the right, and there's our simple turn. And a lot of times when I talk about these, people go, well, but you do straight ins and 180s for the check ride. And it's like, yeah, that's true. And so he taught me the importance of doing 90 degree auto rotations and how you can take those 90 degree auto rotations and turn them into an actual 180, a 90 degree auto rotation. Yeah, so we'll just do a 90 here. So I'm kind of extending, kind of going away from the runway here just to give us a little bit more time on base. Yeah, the reason why, again, what I what I call a training scar, the way that we do our training com makes you have a training scar. So we, yes, you're right. We train for straight in and 180. And if that's all you do, sometimes in the need of the emergency, the student's only going to think, well, I only can do a straight in or a 180 because that's all I've trained for, right? Sure. Well, the 180 is nothing but that's the most the turn's going to be to get you into the wind. Obviously, if you're flying along and you have a tailwind and the engine quits, you need to do a 180 to get back into the wind. How often do you actually have that direct tailwind? A lot of times you got a crosswind or you may just have a 30 degree off to the right or something where you just got to make 30 degrees, you know? So what we're going to show today is just do, we're just going to do a 90 degrees. Again, we're cruising about almost 80 knots. We're about 1,600 feet indicated which is where I would be normally cruising anyway. We want this as real world as possible. Three, two, one, roll off. There's those to the right, and there's our simple turn. RPM might build, depending on how steep your turn is. If it builds, then we're just gonna come up a little bit on the collective and slow it down. And then once it slows down, then we're lowering it back to the floor. And now it just turns into a straight in. So just a small little turn. Now I'm just riding it down. Here comes street top level. A little bit of a flare. Flare is going to get more aggressive. But the aircraft start to settle. Pushing those forward. Come up on that collective. Be ready for that right pedal. And there we go. Awesome. And I want to back up what you said. It could be straight in. Could be 90. Could be 180. Could be 170. Could be 30. Could be 46. Right. Depending on the situation, once we get into the real world auto rotations, Whatever it takes to get into the wind the best as possible, or to take a combination of what's going towards the wind plus an open spot versus a wooded area, the scenarios are endless. So back to that objection of training to a standard, people going, well, that's not real world. Well, you go out and try to find some things to do right. to make it more real world. We'll come back tomorrow for 180 degree auto rotations. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. I almost forgot what we were doing on that last one. Did you? <laughs> I was like, oh, I need to make that turn. I need to enter the auto before I turn final. <laughs> nice. Hey. A lot going on. You're flying the helicopter. You're listening to me. You're looking outside.